Luxury items I don't think that are worth the money. Let me tell you what you should buy instead. Hi my loves, welcome back. First video sitting down after Hawaii. Oh my goodness, I love Hawaii. And yes, there is going to be Hawaii vlogs and unboxings. But before that, I have got a super interesting video for you. And I know these type of videos sometimes cause a little bit of controversy, but look, at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. I feel there are some luxury items that are either overpriced or overdone. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you bags, clothes, items that to me are not worth the price tag, but I have got fabulous alternatives. And you know me, I love sharing new brands with you or new styles that you may not know of. But look, as I always say, if you love it, you buy it. That is the most important thing at the end of the day but it doesn't hurt to look at alternatives. Okay, so before I went to Hawaii, I actually did order a couple of items which didn't make it in time for my trip. So I still wanted to share the items with you. And first up is actually this gorgeous dress that I am wearing. And it's from an Australian designer called Ella May. And I actually own two of her dresses. And some of you may not know, but the person that founded Ella May used to be the head designer of Zimmerman. So first up, I don't think you should buy some Zimmerman pieces. Now, I've also said Zimmerman is one of my favorite brands and I still will buy things I love. But geez, over the years, Zimmerman's prices have gone up and up and up to the point where I think lots of their dresses are just overpriced. So this beautiful dress, it is so autumnal, but it is also perfect for us Aussies down here because it is spring. It is such a trans-seasonal piece. It's a long shirt dress, but what I like to do is I like to unbutton the last few buttons so you can just see that little bit of leg. It's got this rope detail as a belt so you can wear it with any belt you want or the rope that comes with it. I love these billowy sleeves. It's so comfortable. I've worn it all day and the material which is cotton it doesn't sort of really crinkle up the best thing of all is that LMA dresses are half the price of Zimmerman dresses so for example this dress is $416 USD I actually bought this from my Teresa so I do want to thank my Teresa for partnering with me on this video so I'm just going to quote in USD but I'll put the AUD price next to it as well and then I found a really similar dress from Zimmerman and it's like 600 USD more so it's not only this style dress which is a new season item I also saw another dress very very similar silhouette the LMA version is around like 500 USD, but the Zimmerman version, also very similar vibe, is like almost 900 USD. So for half the price, I will definitely be repurchasing more. And did you know they just recently won the Australian Design Award for the year? So definitely watch out for this brand because I think they're just gonna get more and more popular. So the second item I don't think it's worth buying, though I love the style, is this Prada basket bag. Now, a lot of the designers have done baskets and I am a big fan of wicker, of straw, of all these sort of baskets. But I was surprised that the Prada version, as beautiful as it is, is 1,120 USD. Now, the original one, I well, I feel like the first one that sort of did these basket bags really well is Loewe. And you also know I own the Loewe basket bag. So this version comes in, I believe, three different sizes. I own the medium version, and the medium version is 590 USD. And that's like half the price of the Prada version. And I love this bag. I take it to the market with me. I use it just as a beautiful kind of like spring summer tote. So what I want to show you, which didn't arrive on time. So another alternative to the whole straw basket look, but still almost half the price. It is another Loewe basket bag. And I'm so impressed with this one. So again, dun, dun, dun. How cute is this little basket bag? So this one here is smaller. Let me just take all the stuffing out. I also got this from My Teresa. 
Okay, so it comes with all the kind of care instructions and everything. This is definitely a keeper, so I will be taking this tag off. And you can see the construction is a lot softer. And even though it is small, it packs everything that you need. Like if I put my phone in there, look how much space there is in there. I could fit my mini pochette, I could fit a water bottle, I could fit my sunglasses, it fits everything. And I love the bit of tan leather trim. You've also got this little tie detail just for added security if you wanted to tie it up. But if not, you just leave it inside the bag. But my favorite feature is the logo. I love how you can see some contrast stitching. It's so classy. So to me, because I love straw basket bags, I know it is very similar to this, but again, it's a different weave and it is different in size. So when I don't want something so big, I've got this little cutie. And this one here, because the straw is a little bit different, this one is 690, but it does come in bigger sizes as well if you did want something bigger. But still, the same sort of colorway, neutral with the tan combination, 590 or 690 compared to 1120. Don't think you should buy the Prada straw basket, buy the Loewe one instead. And guys, I found a My Teresa code. They did not give this to me and I don't make any commission from this. But if you're from Australia or the US, just try it for other countries like Singapore and that as well. If you're a first time customer, just put in the code REWARD10AU and you get 10% off for all orders $900 and over. And if you're in the US, put REWARD10US for 10% off selected items over 600 USD. So any other codes I find, I will link down below, but this is like one of the first times I've seen my Teresa give a discount code. Of course, I'm working on getting you my own individual one. I will always keep asking, but so far they haven't done it for anyone else, but I will keep trying. Next up is a bag from Hermes. I did actually mention this in my recent video, but some of you may have missed it. You know that Hermes is my favorite brand, but this bag for the price tag, a lot of people don't think it's worth it. And the bag I'm talking about is the Her Bag Zip 31. Now, I chose not to buy a new one because it is pretty pricey. In USD, when you include tax, it's nearly 3,000 USD. Or for Aussie pricing, it's over $4,000, even more depending on what combination you want. So I do own this bag, but mine is the vintage version. Now, if you love the Her Bag, please go ahead and buy it because compared to the Kelly, it's still relatively a good price. However, it is pretty hard like the Kelly to get in and out of because you do have, you know, this closure, you definitely need two hands and to close it up, like you can see, I need to definitely need two hands. So what I do is I don't actually close the sangles up. I just leave it open like this. And people don't think it's worth it because it is also canvas with a bit of leather trim. Now, I have mentioned this brand to you before, but I recently got this bag and I've used it once already and I just love it more and more. And I'm talking about the Murta Ray bag. So as you can see, it is very similar in size. It has got the sort of Viketa leather trim. The only difference is the closure is a little bit different, but it still has the fabric lining body. But the price of this, oh my goodness, made in Italy by like a boutique Italian artisan, this is only 698 USD. So I do have a code, which I think by the time this video goes live, it's gonna finish like in three days, is an exclusive code. No, this video is not sponsored by Murta, though I have worked with them in the past before. If you click my secret link below and use my exclusive code, MELTIMESMURTA25, you actually get 25% off this bag. So that takes it down to 517 USD. They're all handmade to order, made in Italy, such great quality. So if you're not sure about the Her bag, buy this. Not only is the quality fantastic, but it's like one fifth of the price. It's just over $500. And I do have the highest code, guys. And no, I don't make any commission if you use my code. I just always wanna get you the best possible deals. It also comes in eight or nine different colors. So don't buy the Hermes 
her bag new buy the ray bag instead so next up is another clothing item whilst i was in hawaii i was in prada and i saw the most beautiful white dress it was this cottony dress I mean, you can't go wrong with a white dress, right? But the price tag, it was over 4,000 USD for a white cotton dress. The design was beautiful. So what I'm saying is I don't think white cotton designer shirt dresses from brands like Prada, or I even saw one from Valentino, which was even more, I think it was like 5,700 USD. I don't think they're worth the price tag. I'm all for buying designer ready to wear, but I like to stick to the more sort of iconic pieces. So to me, that's just not worth it. So instead of those dresses, I also love another brand, which I've mentioned before, and it is called Love Shack Fancy. I picked up this beautiful white dress and it has a very similar vibe to the one from Prada and also from Valentino. It is long, it's got lace detailing on the sleeves, on the collar, and even at the end of the dress. I actually own a very similar version in black. Funny enough, I got that in Hawaii on my last trip. And this only retails at 290 USD. So, I mean, the price difference says it all. And I love Love Shack Fancy's quality. They sell short dresses, long dresses, and I think everyone needs a white dress in their collection. So the only reason why for this particular one, I haven't taken the tag off is that I do actually need to swap it to a medium. I got the small and it still fits me, but I prefer it just slightly looser around the waist. So if you're looking for a white dress, buy this Love Shack fancy ones and not the versions from the high-end designers. Okay, next up is something from Valentino. I know I just said don't buy a Valentino white dress, but this item I do think is worth it. So mini bags have been popular the last few years. They're not going away anytime soon. This is actually not for me. My sister actually asked me to find this for her. And so I found it and let me show you what it is. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. How adorable is this little Valentino bucket bag. So a lot of you are fans of mini bags and I love mini bags too. And my sister, her favorite are mini bags. But the prices of mini bags, even though you think they're so darn cute, geez, they are getting super, super pricey. Especially the ones that I don't think that are worth it are the Chanel mini bags. Like I do love Chanel, but I saw this bucket style, which is the same size as this. It does have a little bit more chain detail, but it's like over two and a half thousand USD. And another one that I really like, but is still so expensive, they have been having so many price increases, is Louis Vuitton. Now, I also love Louis Vuitton bags, but this one is very pricey for being just slightly bigger than this Valentino one here. And the bag I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton Nano Lock Me Bucket. And this retails for nearly 2,200. USD and it's super plain as well. It's just leather with the turn lock closure. And so that one is like very similar to this. This is also all leather. This has got the hardware, but this little cutie only retails for 1,100 USD. So half the price of the LV and more than half the price of the Chanel. And this one, it must probably be doing quite well for them because I saw it come in black, which I think is so classic, the black and gold. I saw it in the gold version, which for me is the one I probably would get. I think it comes in a beautiful blue as well. So everything I mention, I will link below. So if you're looking for a mini bag, I reckon this is so much more worth it than say the LV or the Chanel versions. And this one here, all mini bags, look, they're not gonna fit a phone, but let me take all this out. Still fits like a card holder. It will fit your lipstick case. It fits your key fob. It will fit 
your essentials or if you have a flip phone it will fit as well but just to show you this is my iphone 13 pro and i mean if you leave it open actually i'm surprised if you leave it open like this it, it can stand up so i don't think the price is that bad for 1100 considering i've seen other options for more than double the price so definitely do consider this cute little valentino bucket bag instead of the other two. So another dress that I also purchased is this gorgeous Ganny dress. So besides floral, I also love paisley. I also love some dresses that are a little bit looser because one, it's quite slimming and two, you have the option to belt it up, which it looks gorgeous as well. I also like this sort of exaggerated collar. I own one other item from them, but because I love Paisley so much, I nearly bought an Etro dress and Etro is really known for their Paisley. I also really like their items, but it is also much more expensive. So if you are like me and you love Paisley, check out Ganny because this dress was only 183 USD and it is in 100% cotton, but the version I nearly purchased from Etro is like 1,200, 1,300 from memory. And it's beautiful, but it's a thousand dollars more expensive. Plus Ganny is also a brand. If you see from the tag, it is a responsible brand because this is not only made out of 100% cotton, but 100% certified organic cotton. So unless I think it is a really sort of unique Paisley, which Etro does do, I believe it's better to stick to other brands in terms of Paisley print because a lot of designers do Paisley really well and it's they're both in the same fabrication so save yourself a thousand dollars don't buy the etro version buy this gorgeous ganny version instead now the next bag is going to come at no surprise because i've harped on and on about this but there's a reason why i'm including it so ysl i own the ysl walk i know i've said to you don't buy the ysl walk but I did preface that and say, if you find a color you absolutely love, get it. And the reason why I did buy this colorway was that they were discontinuing this pink. So if you find a color you love, by all means, get the wok. However, why I'm saying don't buy the YSL wok and buy the clutch version instead is, as you can see, it is slightly bigger. It is a little bit more thinner than the wok version but the capacity is basically the same. And this one here, to convert this into a crossbody bag, all you need is an insert with a chain. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because everyone keeps asking me about this color. I just saw on my Teresa It Hit, they have come out with a brand new color, very similar to this. It is called Vintage Peach or Vintage Peachy Pink and it's beautiful and it comes in this version. So the reason why I say to buy this and not this, don't get me wrong, I like this as well a lot and I love this color, is because the clutch version is half the price. 725 USD compared to 1,450. So yeah, less than half the price. And you guys know I love this because this is the one that I brought with me to Hawaii. I will link it down below, but I just have, I've shown you this before, I'm not gonna go on about it. I just got an insert in there with the chain and then this becomes a crossbody bag. And of course the wok already comes with the chain, but save yourself 700 plus dollars and look how similar they are. Don't buy this, buy this instead. The next bag I'm gonna be talking about, I don't own, and I've never been a fan of this brand, which I have told you before, and it is Chloe. Now, I do like the look of this bag. I think it's very functional. It's a very popular bag, so this is only my opinion, guys, but I don't think the Chloe Woody Tote is worth it because I just think the alternative to that, which is so much cheaper and fabulous in my opinion, is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. So you know the Chloe tote, it is cam, well it comes in various versions, but the one I'm talking about is the canvas version with the leather. That retails for about 1,090 USD. 
but the Marc Jacobs tote version, and I feel like this is even more popular. I actually gave away a denim version of this canvas bag earlier this year, only retails for about three to 400 USD. So three to 400 compared to 1,100. That is a significant price difference considering they are in the same sort of materials, same size. And then I saw the Marc Jacobs leather tote version, which is the one I'm eyeing and I'm just deciding which color to get. The Marc Jacobs full leather tote version retails for about 487 USD. I'm talking about the small size. And then I saw that Chloe had just come out with a full leather version as well, but that is 1,900 USD. So that's a huge price difference. So even more so in the leather version. So for me, I would not buy the Chloe Woody Tote, but buy the Marc Jacobs Tote version instead. And lucky last, I've probably saved the most controversial for last. Again, this is one of the most popular bags. Most of my friends own it. I still think it's a super functional bag, but just personally for me, I don't love it. And I'm talking about, don't kill me guys, the LV Neverfull. Now the LV Neverfull has gone up so much in price. So the general monogram canvas version now retails for over 2000 USD. And I'm talking about the medium size version. So nothing wrong with this bag. It's called the Neverfull for a reason. It's a popular bag. I know it comes in leather as well. I do prefer the leather version. But personally, it's just not my favorite bag. But again, if you love it, please buy it, guys. But another alternative, which I have said to you before, again, also in canvas, so very light for like, is the Foray Lepage Daily Battle Tote. And the most comparable is the size 32. So I own this bag in several sizes. I brought them out to show you, but this is the most similar to the MM. This canvas is so durable. One of the criticisms with the Neverfull is that it doesn't have enough security. So this version does come in the zip version like this or the open version, which I'll show you in a second because I do own two other sizes. So again, I just love that this has the reinforced corners, which really protects against wear and tear. It's got seven holes, so you actually can adjust the strap length. And best of all, this retails at 1,370 USD, so like 700 cheaper than the Neverfull in the MM size. But quickly, just to show you, I also own the 27, and this I have used so, so much. And this is what I mean where it's the open version. So you can pick the zip or the open, but the zip is just slightly more expensive. And then if you have a 13 inch MacBook like me, this was the first one I bought in Paris like four years ago. This is the size 37. And what I love about the Foray Lepage Daily Battle Totes is that they come in so many different sizes. So the 27, the 32, the 37, and even a 41. And this version in this gorgeous burgundy retails for 1,430. So I think only $50 more than the 32. So hardly any price difference between them, but still six or $700 cheaper than the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. So if you're a tote person and you're thinking, no, I do want a monogram tote, but I feel like maybe the LV Neverfull is a little bit overdone then please do consider the Foray Lepage. I just think it is a fabulous tote. The craftsmanship is great. It's just an amazing French label. So that is it for this video, guys. Designer items I wouldn't spend my money on, but I would buy the alternatives instead. And I actually own the alternatives. Fashion is supposed to be fun. So at the end of the day, please buy what you love. But again, I love showing you different alternatives, different options just for you to consider. And I hope you found it informative. If you liked this video, give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.